We're going to solve this question by first using the power radiation formula, which looks like this. And let's quickly go over what each of these terms are. This sigma right here is simply a constant value and it has a number to it. We'll get to that momentarily. E right here stands for the emissivity. This A variable is the surface area and T is the temperature. And we measured that in units of Kelvin. The next thing we're going to do is rearrange the formula so that we isolate the temperature so we get the fourth root of the power divided by sigma times the emissivity times the surface area. Next, we'll go ahead and plug in our variables and expand some of these variables, such as this surface area right here. Since the sun, we assume it to be spherical, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. So we were given the power, which is 3.85 times 10 to the 26 watts. Now this Sigma, the value for this is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8th power. The emissivity for a black body is 1. And then, like I previously said, the surface area will have 4 pi times, we're told the radius of the sun is 6.96 times 10 to the 8th. And don't forget that you have to square the radius. This will give us a temperature of 5779.86 Kelvins. In order to solve part B, we need to use Wien's displacement law, which states that the maximum wavelength is equal to 0.2898 times 10 to the minus 2 divided by the temperature. We'll go ahead and plug in the value for our temperature, and this will give us a wavelength of 501 nanometers.